What's up everybody, it's your girl back for another video. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about social media and women. I believe that social media has destroyed the modern day woman. We have many things that have contributed to it. Feminism, uh, reality television shows, the entertainment industry, um, but social media has done so much damage to the way women are. If we could just take that away, I think we might have some fighting chance. But I would do anything to go back to the days where we had no social media. I'd give up YouTube because I love YouTube. I'd give it all up to go back to the days where I either had a pager or a basic cell phone that just made phone calls. Life seemed so much better back then. Women were better quality. Uh, women were ladies. They were just better. I know we still have feminism ruining everything, but social media, God, it just made things, um, the, the, the process of uh, devastation on women have just, it's just sped up so fast when social media came about. It's because it's really just a haven for narcissists. A lot of these women, most of these women are extremely narcissists now. Remember, women used to complain about just how men were such narcissists, and you still hear it today, actually. You still hear the same thing today about men. Oh, he was a narcissist. Oh, he was toxic. Blah, 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 blah. But women doing this social media thing, that's all it's about. It's about me, me, me. It's about vanity. It's all of that, and I definitely agree with her. And if you haven't checked out our channel, make sure you go do that. I'll link it in the description, but let's continue. You know, social media for women, it's turned into this big competition. It's just women competing online for who can present the best facade because it's not real. You know, these women that post, oh, I have such a great life and, and posting pictures of everything they do. It starts to make it look like they have a better life than you. But if you know that person personally, you'll begin to see the facade crumble. And I'll give you an example to this. I don't use Instagram, I don't Twitter, I don't do any of that stuff. The only thing I use is YouTube now. But at one point I did have a Facebook when it was first emerging. When I was living up north, my husband and I moved up north where we had no family. And the only way you know my family could see our children or to see us or we could see them, we used Facebook. I didn't have all these friends. I just was friends with family members. I kept everything private and I did have a few um, friends that I grew up with from elementary school or middle school on there too that uh, reached out to me on there. But besides that, that was all I had. And I started to notice a trend of the selfies, the, the, the competitiveness of who has the best social status. And uh, also noticed that there was women on there that, you know, whether that be a part of my family or an old acquaintance that I wouldn't know personally would be on there. Oh, I'm such a great mother. I could never live without my children. Um, I do so many things with my children. Look at me. I'm at the park with my children. You know, you know the thing is, is that you have to understand as women, and I don't think, it, well, I think women understand this, but they don't really acknowledge it like they should. And men definitely should know this. Women are by nature going to be in competition with each other. Women by nature are going to always be in competition with each other because women always have to um, show or prove their value, their worth. It's a, it's a biological thing, right? But today, because we live in this modern society where everything is based on vanity, it's out of control. And that's why it's leading to a lot of women becoming uh, narcissists. And a lot of them don't even think they are. They don't realize that they're doing that. But it is what it is you know, and take a picture. But I would know these women personally, and I'm sorry to say it, but they would not be, they'd be crappy mothers. They'd be the type of mother that, you know, their children dressed in rags, still in pajamas at two in the afternoon, um, you know, boogers all over their noses, dirty fingernails, hair not groomed, you know, but they would be all groomed up, you know, full face makeup, hair done, expensive clothes, you know, their nails done, they would look great and their kids would be in rags. And they would also be the type of mothers that party all weekend and have their children being babysat by relatives because they want to go to the gym or party all the time. So they never have their kids. You know, it's it's just, I would see that and I'd be like, they, they who are they trying to bullshit? And people actually would buy it because they'd be on it. oh, you're such a great mother. Oh, I want to be like you. 
I hope when I have children, I'm the same you know, type of mother as you and all of this. And I just got tired of it. Um, so I got off of there. I didn't want to, um, the bullshit. I couldn't take it anymore. Also, a lot of women on there like to live their lives by quotes. Like they would post all these quotes and, and try to, um, instead of making up their own or, you know, saying something clever, they would post a quote and like li like live through a quote. It's it's absolutely retarded and it drives me nuts. Um, but I just got tired of it, y'all. I couldn't take it anymore. So I got off of it and I will never be on Facebook again. Um, you know, I don't care if I'm the only one left that doesn't do it. Now, YouTube, on the other hand, I've been watching YouTube from the beginning. Um, <clears throat> YouTube is a way for me to, I get my conservative news because um, I don't watch mainstream media. I, you know, I could watch gun prepping channels, fitness channels, um, cooking channels, all the things that interest me. I can watch YouTubers on here, you know, and you also get to conversate with people on those channels that have the same interest in you. You learn things. There's YouTubers that I've been watching from the beginning. Those They begin to grow on you and you'll watch them do anything. If you, if you started out watching them because they have a gardening channel, you'll watch them go on vacation. You'll watch them talk about different aspects of their life because they begin to grow on you. It's just, it was an awesome thing in the beginning. Unfortunately, the liberal feminists are ruining this too. But, um, you know, I do enjoy using YouTube. But Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, don't use any of it. I'm still so shocked that when I'm out, there will be guys that will come up to me and ask. Just the other day, I had a guy asked me at the grocery store, are you an Instagram model? No, I am not. And I kept walking. And he thought. That's funny because it's become like a normal thing. And, and keep in mind, this video is, I think, like, four years old or somewhere around there. This is not a new video that you're watching right here. This is a woman saying these things about four years ago or more. And just imagine how worse it's gotten since then, since that point. Social media, just like she described, is the worst thing. I, I think it's one of the worst things that could have ever happened to women because it gave women this vehicle to take vanity to the extreme, which leads to narcissism and a lot of them don't even realize they're doing it and if they do they say that they don't care they're just going to live their best life you know just because you can do something doesn't always mean that you should and too much of something even if it's a good thing can be a bad thing followed me like he was shocked you're not on instagram i'm like nope and i kept walking and then of course he proceeded to ask for my phone number. I said, I am a married woman. And I said, good day. And I kept walking, didn't speak to him again. But he was so shocked that I was not on Instagram because he's probably so used to every woman he asks is, well, you know, how do I follow you on Instagram or um, fate with your Facebook? And it's just really sad that it's come down to that. Um, and women, you know, they think that they're actually getting this male attention because they're actually wholesome quality women but what they don't realize is all they've turned themselves into is masturbation material that's all they are just a quick that's it they're, they're worth nothing else they're worthless you know they can't cook they can't clean they can't be trusted um they're not marriage material and they think there's nothing wrong with that they think it's perfectly fine because they think that men are just supposed to handle them well, I think you're doing a pretty good job for those of you ladies doing that out there. I think you're doing a pretty good job of handling yourself. They're not wife material, the kind of woman that you could really trust, count on, bring home to the family. They're nothing but sex. That's it. And they don't completely realize that either. These women actually believe today that they're quality, good, decent women. It's so pathetic and it's just, it's laughable. But anyway, women are, social media has made women, it's like, it's made their ego so big. They're so entitled, their egos are so big because they get all these likes, all these followers on there and all these women are competing with each other for the most followers, the most likes. They actually base their social status off how many likes and followers they have. They actually feel like they've achieved something in life because they have, you know, 75,000 followers on Twitter and uh, 
they start feeling like they're some kind of celebrity or something. And uh, it's, it's really pathetic. And so their entitlement, their ego is just so big that they don't even have to be decent when they get with a man because they feel like they, they're doing a man a favor by being with them because they can screw up the relationship easily. The man's like, Psh, I don't want nothing more to do with you. Cool. I have all these suitors lined up at my door. I have all these followers, um, you know, all these likes and they just post selfies all day long and get all this attention. And it, it's just really destroyed women because their egos are so big and they're so entitled now. And she won't say the word, but I will keep saying it. That's narcissistic. And it's toxic. And uh, another thing that it's done that I can't stand is the amount of single mothers we have and all these women just being promiscuous having all these kids from all these different men. You will see them post selfies of themselves and like booty pictures and you'll see like their kids toys in the background. There was one woman in particular that I actually know personally that showed me a picture of herself that she put on Instagram and was bragging about how many likes and followers she had. In the picture, she's in a fitting room taking a picture in bathing suits, skimpy bathing suits. And I can see her two sons sitting on their, like on a phone or a tablet or something in the changing room, little kids. And all of these men were liking, like men have gotten so used to this, they just accept it as normal. If I was a man, I'd be horrified, you know? I mean, what happens is when men see that, they just go in the recreational use zone only. Because if she's got two little kids uh, sitting in the background, first of all, where their daddy at and why she's not with them. And second of all, that's not something she should be doing, definitely in front of her children. So that's two big strikes right there. I'd be like, holy crap. And the kids, those little boys, what do you think they're going to grow up to be like witnessing stuff like this? You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's absolutely horrible. Y'all, social media is just, it's horrible. I'm so tired of being out in public and seeing women with that blue shade on their face from being on their phone. That's all they do. I went to a parade for Mardi Gras. My husband and I went to a parade and was standing with, you know, all these women. And you can see that they're on Facebook. Every one of them had their phone out. You can see it's on Facebook or Instagram because you're standing so close to them. And I kid you not, every time a float would pass and there'd be a break in between, they would all be like posting their little selfie. Then they got to put it on there and update everybody on what they're doing. And I was just thinking to myself, God, these women are just so useless. You can't conversate with them. All they want to do is play on social media and compete with everyone else and try to act like they have this great life and that they're this great person when they're not. And you can't have an in-depth conversation with any of them. You ever been out like at a restaurant and you'll see women, every one of them's on their phone and they're probably on social media. You know, it's really, it's really sad, y'all. It's pathetic. Um, for me, what I try to do, um, like when I'm out in public, sitting somewhere by myself waiting, I'm a big book reader. I bring a book with me. You're not, you're rarely going to see me, you know, playing on my phone. I'll pull out a book. Um you know, and try to read something. And I'm not trying to bash anyone that, you know, you're gonna check your phone sometimes, you're gonna check your email, you know, you gotta keep up with things. It's the constant addiction to Facebooking, keeping everybody updated, the social media, the Instagram thing, the Twitter thing. That's that's what really bothers me. It's, it's really the addiction to validation and attention. That's really what it's about. And, you know, social media and definitely phone. Let's just talk about the phone. I mean, that's completely impersonal. There's nothing personal about it. And half of these people that you see out in public on their phones, they don't really know how, how, how to have a, a meaningful conversation more than two minutes long. They want to get back to their phones because they live their whole existence through a phone. You know, this need for attention and, and, you know, this competition that so many women have, it's, it's really just ruining them. You know, they're all in competition. They're all uh, 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 copying each other. They're all backing each other's bad uh, habits, right? And it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse. Because I see so many beautiful women out there, so many beautiful women on social media wherever they may be. And after a couple seconds, couple minutes, you notice that they're just rotten, rotten. 
you look as a man and you say, man, she is attractive, man, she's hot, she's, you know, and then as soon as she starts talking or as soon as you see how she moves in the world, you're just like, I, I can't do it. I, I, I can't do anything serious. I like, I can't take her home to mom. And the thing is, is it's the majority of women, especially the younger these women are, the more they're connected to that whole thing. And then the women that are older than them are still in competition with them. And then they're doing the same thing. So, and like, again, this video is years old. It's even worse now. It's just, it disgusts me. And it's sad that it's come to this. You know, before this happened, things used to be so much different. I can clearly remember the 90s. And I wish I could go back to that place in an instant. Things just seemed like it was so much better. And women, you know, were more ladies. They were better quality women. And um, just better quality people in general, actually. And uh, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. We're not heading to a good place, folks. Um, before social media really picked up, I do remember the reality television show hitting the TVs. And I saw the devastation that did. Remember the Real Housewives of Atlanta or Jersey? Y'all remember the shows like that? Or Big Brother? Or um, what was that other one where all of those... Damn it, I forgot the name of it. Where they'd put all those single men and women in a house together and film it. And they all start having sex with each other. And you just see how useless women are. I never forget when they put... Uh, Jersey Shore, that's another one that came out when they tried to make all Italian Americans look like a bunch of promiscuous um, numbskulls that like to tan and grease up their hair and, um, you know, they just stereotyped Italian Americans. But those women on there just acted like complete fools. All they did was go out and drink and have sex with different people. And it just gives you an insight of how incredibly insecure and broken women on how useless they've become but the thing is is that these women get rewarded for doing this these type of behaviors even the tv shows that she described they got paid so if you reward people uh, for bad behavior and you constantly reward women for being shameful or promiscuous and you cheer them on and not only you uh, in general but women because you know, women are the biggest supporters of this type of behavior. And when you support that, the outcome is always going to be bad because you are supporting women doing what is completely opposite to their biological nature. You see, women can say that they're in, you know, this patriarchy and they're oppressed and all these things, but women always hold the most power. Wars have been started ended because of women women affect change but it has to be in the correct way and the sad thing about social media is that it's going the opposite of the correct way year after year after year more and more women are adopting this i want to be free i want to be sexually free i want to gain some experience i want to have a certain amount of money before i become this traditional type of biological, you know, all up in my female nature type of thing. That's completely backwards. And it leads to nowhere. But sadliness, sadness, loneliness, all those things that women are trying to run away from, they're running right into. Social media has destroyed women. Comment below. What do you think about social media? What do you think uh, about what it has done to women, their ego, um, the way they act, um, has it destroyed them? I'm curious to hear what y'all have to say about it. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe if you want to hear more and I'll see y'all later. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.